Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Road to the World Cup, Timo Werner. So as you can see, he is 5'11", right-footed, high-medium work rates with 3-star skills, 4-star weak foot. He can play striker, centre forward and left wing as well, which should be decent for squad building. Looking at his stats, he's got 94 pace with 97 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. He's got 84 shooting with 91 positioning, 89 shot power and 86 volleys. He's got 77 passing with 76 vision and 77 crossing as well as 87 short passing. He's got 86 dribbling with 89 reactions, 87 ball control and 86 dribbling. He's got 85 heading accuracy and 74 physical with 87 stamina. So those are the key stats in this card, that's what should make him good, but without further ado, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So into the first clip here, we do get the ball with Teo Hernandez, and we are trying to evade the defender, unfortunately we can't, but we do win it back here straight away with Nakata. We do spot the run here with Timo Werner, but we do find Nakata with the pass, we play it into Werner this time, he goes around the defender, Unfortunately, he's tackled, but slaloms his way through and he absolutely hammers that ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 from Timo Werner. Next up here, we have the ball in our own half again, defending well, playing well, uh, some nice movement here from all our players. Unfortunately, we do lose the ball there, but we win it back instantly. The ball finds its way to Timo Werner. We go for the power shot across the goals there, across the keeper, and gives him absolutely no chance. Onto the ball now from the short corner. We played out wide to Tomori. Tomori rolls it down to Kole. We find the ball with Nakata here across to Timo Werner and he rises up highest to win the header and put the ball into the back of the net. Straight from kickoff we come here. Werner on the ball this time. Some nice dribbling here. He keeps the ball. He plays it back down to, well, a nice one-two with our defenders. Over the top back to Werner and he goes on the weak foot this time across the keeper once again and perfect finish. Beautifully executed and a great goal. Uh, Jung Bay on the ball this time. We do spot Timo Werner on the run. Play the ball through to him and he gets around the defender. Plays the ball across and not too sure what the keeper is doing, but we do find a goal there. Luckily, somehow. Onto the ball now again with Mascherano. We play this ball down to Chiesa. We spot a run once again. Unfortunately, we are tackled, but Chiesa retains possession there beautifully. Ball down to Timo Werner, he goes with the shot across keeper, on the weak foot once again, buried with the plum, no issues there, great finish. Onto the ball now one more time, Dumfries, well sorry, we take it away this time from Dumfries, Quadrado on the ball here, he plays it across to Crespo, we do spot the run from Werner, beautifully executed pass, perfectly timed run and a brilliant finish. Into the next clip here, we do, well, the opposition has the ball in their own box, we win it back here with Crespo pretty quickly there, great play, we do lose it, Werner on the ball here, first shot to save, on the rebound, into the ground, he does score the second. Here we are getting absolutely destroyed in this game, but it's fine because Timo Werner comes up clutch here, beautiful pass played over the top, Werner finds himself through on goal, he goes for the power shot across the keeper on the weak foot, and once again, a spectacular finish. Werner on the ball here, we played down to Moise Keane, back down to Werner there, he shows some beautiful pace there to escape the defender, no chance getting anywhere near him. He goes for the chip shot, executes it perfectly and scores the goal. But on the ball here, once again for the power shot and once again with the finish. Another chance for Timo Werner, onto the ball here with Chiesa, we played across to Werner and he absolutely rifles that volley home, no issues there whatsoever, a beautiful finish. Uh, we go for the tackle here with Quadrado. We do make it there. That was a great tackle. We find Timo Werner on the ball here. We go for the chip shot once again. Another perfectly executed dink over the keeper's head and into the back of the net. Onto the ball now, Timo Werner again. Across everybody. A beautiful pass down to Crespo and he scores that header with an absolute beautiful goal. So as you can see, we do end this review with 7 games, 12 goals and 2 assists. That is 14 goal contributions in just 7 games, which is a fantastic goal return from this card. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with a rundown of each stat and then give you an overview at the end. So, starting off with pace, this guy is rapid. He's one of the fastest players that I've used in this game. He is so, so quick. When he gets through on goal, 
Nobody's going to catch him. Nobody's going to touch him. Nobody's going to get anywhere near him. You have absolutely no worries there. He is absolutely gone. No chance of anyone uh, getting near him. I mean, he is so, so fast. When it comes to shooting, his shooting is actually fantastic. He's such a good strike off the ball. I mean, his key shooting ability is his power shots. He hits them so well. Left foot, right foot, in the box, out the box. It doesn't matter. He strikes the ball so sweetly. His power shots are perfect. He hits them so hard, so true and so well. He puts it past the keeper every time and he gives them pretty much no chance at all. And I mean, his finishing all in all is beautiful. His finish shots are pretty good. And despite having a four star weak foot, he does hit the ball like he's got a five star. Looking at his passing, again, another great stat on this card. You might think it's not too good, but surprisingly enough, it is very good. He's got good link up play between his, him and his teammates. He can make chances for his teammates. He can put the ball in on a plate for them. His passing is actually really good. Looking at his dribbling, another huge stat on this card. His dribbling is fantastic. He's got such good close control. He's so silky on the ball, so smooth on the ball. His movement is excellent. He can evade defenders so well. He's so slippery, he's so difficult to dispossess, and he's so hard to tackle. This guy is a full package. When it comes to physical, another perfectly rounded stat on this card, because his physical is actually surprisingly good. He's got great stamina, so he can run all game long, and his strength is actually surprisingly decent as well. I mean, he doesn't get pushed with the ball, he doesn't get bullied off the ball, he's, he can hold his own against pretty much a lot of defenders and honestly against the defenders that he can't hold his own against he's so fast and he's so good at dribbling that they can't even catch him to tackle him anyway so all in all what do i think of this card he is a fantastic card a phenomenal signing and a huge addition to anybody's team he's so so good the bundesliga is lacking attacking options and honestly this guy severely makes up for it he is so good he's such an incredible card in game a fantastic talent and a huge huge player for anybody's team he is such a good game changer and he's such a good player and the fact is he's only 60k as well so in terms of value that you're going to get from the coins that you're spending he is fantastic value one of the best value for coin signings that you can get in this game it is just honestly outrageously good it is fantastic and it is just a beautiful signing for anybody's team so do i give him the stamp of approval 100 percent yes i do no question about it, a fantastic card, like I said, fantastic signing. If you need a Bundesliga player, go ahead and get this guy. You will not regret it. He is that good. So what do I give him as a rating out of 10? He gets a 9 out of 10, which is a very, very good rating, a solid rating. And that puts him right up there with some of the best attackers that I've used on this game. Not quite at that elite level, but, you know, high enough, close enough to it, you know, pretty much on the borderline of it, as close as you can get right up there with the best players that I've used, which pretty much just highlights how good this card is and it tells you all you need to know. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time guys, peace.